From the studios of WFAN, this is Mike Zahn, Francesa on the fan on this sixth day of December, uh, Football Friday, and uh, obviously the uh, final show of what has been a uh, very, very uh, long run here for me. You know, I, I uh, tweeted this this morning. I said, uh, I first did an afternoon drive show. In November of 1987, that was the first one that I did in the afternoon drive by myself. I sat in uh, on Thanksgiving Day and then the day after for Pete Franklin. So November 1987 was the first time I uh, entered afternoon drive on the fan. Uh, I did a lot of shows in the time leading up to the fall of 89. I did many shows filling in for Pete in the afternoon. Uh, I did about three or four months worth right before Mike and the Mad Dog started. And obviously this has been my uh, home since September 5th, 1989 for the first uh, 19 and three quarter years with dog. And then uh, the uh, 12 years since by myself, Uh, that's a lot of time. I mean, that's half a lifetime that I have spent, uh, these hours, and you know, there's uh, very few people who get to even, you know, work at a major station in New York. I mean, it's a honor to do that, uh, but to have the same show and the same hours for over 30 years is more than anybody could ask for. So um, this is the last one. Uh, we will, you know, not spend a lot of time dwelling on that. You know, maybe the last couple of minutes we'll chat about it a little bit in the last half hour. But this is the uh, final uh, afternoon drive show for me after all these years. There'll be a new show starting in uh, January when they start the winter. Obviously, there'll be, you know, different shows filling in the next couple of weeks. I know they haven't announced yet what's going to follow. I don't know. You'll have to wait and see uh, what's going to follow. I think it'll be comprised of the people who are here, so I don't think they're going outside the company uh, to put the shows together. At least I don't think so. But I, they haven't consulted with me and told me what they're doing yet, so I haven't heard. Um, but uh, whoever it is, we wish them well. And uh, uh, obviously, uh, I wish them even a portion of, of the uh, good fortune and success that I've had doing this for these uh, many, many years. So uh, it's been a uh, incredible run. I remember very well um, getting called into the program director's uh, office in August of uh, 89 on a summer day. And the program director at that time, a guy named Mark Mason uh, said to me, Hey, I want to, tell you some good news. You go on the afternoon drive. I said, great. But you're not going alone. So that's how it started. That became the saga of Mike and the Mad Dog. That was uh, Mark Mason's idea. One that uh, will be the highlight of his career, obviously, for a long time, having uh, had the uh, ingenuity and the... uh, smarts to create a show that most people were against. Uh, Most people thought could not work. Most people who uh, critiqued it said it wouldn't work. A month in, most of them felt it was doomed for failure. Most people inside the station felt the same thing, and it obviously became the biggest and most successful sports talk show of all time. So um, he gets credit for that, and uh, rightly so, and I owe him a lot of debt of gratitude because it was his idea. He took the chance on us and really withstood, and it just is a good thing to remember, withstood a tremendous amount of pressure and criticism early on, but stuck by his guns. And it turned out to be something that he's spent a lot of time taking bows for for many years since, uh, and rightly so. But he uh, had conviction. He believed in it. Uh, He believed it would work. A lot of people didn't. I mean, early on, it was a uh, tough go for a little while, as we know. But we all know what the uh, final result was. And 
led to a very long uh, time here and a very long relationship with this uh, station and with this audience. And uh, for that, I am uh, very grateful. I've had, I've said it many times, I have had the uh, most loyal and consistent audience that anybody could ever have. I mean, uh, really, I mean, you know, we've had been very fortunate to be at the top of the ratings for 30 years. Uh, and that's a testimony to having just a very loyal audience because without the audience, it doesn't work, you know. You guys are the ones that make the decisions, uh, just like in most things. You know, the public makes the decisions, you know, that's it. I mean, uh, without that, you know, you have, you have the power to uh, make things succeed and things fail. I mean, whether it's teams, whether it's restaurants, whether it's uh, personalities, whether it's uh, movies, whatever it may be. You know, it's based on whether or not you people respond to it. If you don't respond, it doesn't work. It doesn't last long. And obviously, uh, so I owe you a great debt of gratitude for that. To the ones who people know because they call in, that's a very, you know, that's less than 2% of the audience uh, that ever calls in. You know, you meet people and they say, hey, I don't call in. Well, most people don't call in. 98% don't ever call. But uh, you need the callers who participate, and then you need everybody else to just uh, show up and listen. And for that, I am very, very grateful to the audience for their tremendous response and their uh, incredible um, consistency over such a long period of time. 